Hi everyone! Today I wanted to show you this short tutorial on how to make fabric tags and actually recycle some of your old curtains or other fabric you have. I posted um, earlier on Instagram about these tags and I just wanted to show the full process um, in a longer video. So let's start! I had this old curtain uh, sitting around the house for a while and I've been wanting to use it, not really knowing what to do with it. Um, so I suddenly found some inspiration actually on Instagram and decided to make some tags. So I'm just cutting through the fabric and not very precisely, uh, just making um, little strips. Uh, you can make different um, sizes of strips. Um, here I will make three different sizes and in this tutorial I'm only using the smaller um, size but you can really um, use any size. So here I'm just cutting through them. You could really use any type of fabric. I just had this old curtain handy and I quite like the texture of it. So here we have our three different sizes as you can see and as I said we're gonna use the smaller one uh, for the purpose of this tutorial. Using an old piece of cardboard to protect the table and I'm starting with uh, archival ink. It's an ink that is super uh, permanent so it won't come off easily from your stamps but it also won't come off easily from uh, what you... Uh, the fabric. So that's what I was uh, going for with this ink. I wanted to work with different themes for this tutorial um, so this first theme is butterflies and I'm using the butterfly foam ruler stamp that you can find in my shop. I tried to apply quite a lot of pressure um, to make sure that the stamp gets really well printed. Adding some details with these little, little label stickers and some uh, washi tape. Going on to the next theme, which is um, celestial or kind of a planet theme with this uh, stamp and it prints really well on there. I was really happy with the result. I'm also using these smaller celestial stamps that come from one of my stamp sets, which you can find in my shop. And more of these really cool label stickers. This third theme is kind of a letter vintage theme and I just um, kind of filled the background with some text stamp. So all the stamps, the clear stamps that I'm using here, so the text one, um, this next one with the stamp, postal stamp, um, on it and this one with the ink stains are all from the postcard clear stamp which is also in my shop. So next step we're gonna uh, use some wax seals on here to decorate the, the tags and I'm using a parchment paper that you would usually uh, put in the oven um, to protect or, or to avoid the, the wax from sticking to the background because it goes through the fabric, so be careful with that. So this first one is for the butterfly with the little butterfly uh, wax seal. Second one I'm using a mix of blues and black um, to make a beautiful color that will go with the ce celestial theme. And I'm putting this one on the side, uh, so halfway outside of the stamp to give a different kind of effect. And I'm using a wax seal called um, Magic Cross, which is also in my shop. For this last one, I'm using a mix of different golds and bronze. Um, and just so you know, for all these wax seals, I'm uh, waiting a little bit for the wax to cool uh, and not putting, putting it on uh, when it's uh, at its highest temperature um, so that the wax doesn't stick too much to the fabric. On 
on this one I decided to just cut the extra wax to make it um, a rounder shape. I'm using the Antique Linen Distress Ink to stain the edges a little bit so that the linen um, doesn't stay too white and it gives a more of a more of a vintage look to the tags. Punching a little hole uh, for the tag at the top. So the interesting one is the third one, the butterfly one, because I'm punching the hole directly uh, inside the, the wax seal, which is quite cool actually, and uh, I thought I might not manage to get through it, but it worked <laughs> and it looks really nice. And I'm going to add an eyelet um, just to finish the tags in a nice way. I'm using different colors, bronze and kind of a dark silver, uh, depending on the tags. And I have this little tool to press them together so that they will stay in place. The last step is to add um, natural twine or you could use some other kinds of, of twine. I like the natural one because it's very simple and I can use it with uh, almost everything. Um, so that's the only one I have. <laughs> um, but yeah, feel free to be creative. So this is the result. I would really love to hear uh, what you thought about this video. It's the first time I do a longer video like this uh, with voiceover. Uh, did you find it useful? And I would love to hear which of the tag is your favorite. Mine is obvious. It's this one, the celestial one. Thanks for watching.